Now let's get some rapid fire response from our panel on these stories tonight. The One Nation rally this weekend showed the true face of America. People of all different ages, races, and backgrounds. A big difference from what I saw at the Bexters rally on August 28th. Alaska Tea Party nominee Joe Miller says the federal minimum wage is unconstitutional and should be scrapped. And according to the latest IRS data, more than 2,800 millionaires collect unemployment benefits at the height of the recession. Joining us tonight, Joe Madison, XM Satellite Radio talk show host, and Ron Christie, Republican strategist with us tonight. Gentlemen, good to have you with us. Joe, you. you were fabulous on Saturday. I appreciate what you did for the One Nation rally. You gave a great talk, and uh, I was encouraged coming away from it. How do you feel? Well, it was a Neapolitan crowd. I just heard somebody say it was different than the Wonder Bread crowd. But, you know, that ice cream where you have chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, it wasn't just a sprinkling of different colors. It was a Neapolitan crowd. And these are the subscribers who now must go out and tell their neighbors, their workers, their friends that we've got to now turn out the vote. And I think that's exactly what you got. There was nothing but positive energy there and Ed like you we met people who saw this show who listened to our radio programs and they came from I mean Washington State California the south they were from Florida they were from all over Vermont it, it really and I've been to these kinds of rallies before but this is this is one of the largest it now has to be more though let me say this quickly than a, an event yeah. It has to be a movement, and that means that we've got to move forward, maybe make some sacrifices in the next 30 days or 20 days or so, and get people to the polls. Ron Christie, give us your comparison of the two. Well, for not having gone to the two rallies, I can't really give you a line-by-line -line, uh, differential uh, between the two, other than, of course, there's some very interesting differences that we can see. For one, from the estimates that I've looked at from the National Park Service and from the Washington Post, you had some 100,000 people come out to the Glenn Beck rally. Uh, this one, by all accounts, looking at the Huffington Post and other outlets this morning, you had tens of thousands. So I don't think that the enthusiasm uh, to get as many people out there uh, was the same for the two rallies. What I would well, the say... Washington Post reported 175,000. Uh, well, again, 175,000. Again, it's in the tens of thousands rather than the hundreds of thousands. Well, a, uh, CBS News reported Vex Rally had 87,000. Yeah, and uh, I would also find that uh, looking at the statistical sampling of the CBS News poll, from everything I've read about that, they dramatically undercounted it, and CBS News didn't use uh, overhead uh, lighter-than-air vehicles to record the number of people going out this weekend. But let me get on the but they real... they did it with let aerial me... photos, let... which was... Uh, was uh, the CBS News commissioned a company to go up and take the pictures... Only and for they, the Glenn Beck and, rally, and yeah, they didn't do right. it for this one. And I would say also that the pictures that I've seen looking from the top of the monument, looking back, look, Ed, you and I can get in the semantics. I don't want to get into the who had X or who had well, Y. What I want to talk the numbers. about. You're the one who said I was, was the one who enough. said, you asked my <laughs> yeah. opinion, and I said the difference was yeah. from all same thousands that went to the one this weekend as opposed to hundreds of thousands. But you're missing my main no, point. I, no, I, I disagree with that, Ron. I, I'm not going to let you get away with that. There are reports of 175,000 people on one month's promotion. I'd, I'd say that's pretty good. And, and there are reports also that there are half a million people who that were there for Beck the Glenn reporting. Beck reporting. That wasn't no, no, there was, news, there was, there was, no news I, agency I put it at a half several, a million for I Beck. I saw several that said it was in the hundreds of thousands. And do you want Ron, me to get to my no, real Ron, point? No, no, wait a minute. Wait a second now. It, I, what have to news? What, you two what, guys, no, but what know, news? But I'm, just, I'm being fair here. I'm being fair. Yeah. If what, you go what back, news agency if, put back, it at a half a million, Ron? I saw A on Fox News that it was half uh, a million. B, I saw on the Washington Post that it was hundreds of thousands, several hundreds of thousands. You can say 175. That does not beat several hundred thousand. I one what is thing, several? Ed. Is that 200,000 or 300,000? Well, if they've got you beat by 200,000, 300,000, it's more than a, even Ron, giving Ron you the benefit clear. of the bet. But again, you want to talk numbers. I want to talk substance because the thing that upsets me about this one nation that we've talked about, your speech, Ed, you went out and you said conservatives, they're, they're evil. Now, I don't think you they think are. I'm evil. Oh, so I'm evil. I'm a conservative. Do I you come want universal health care? I think it's evil no. to deny people health care. No. Uh, so you think I'm evil? I think, again, I, that you and I can I have think philosophical they have evil policy policies. differences. I and think it's evil to deny people health care benefits. I think it's evil to ship jobs overseas and not have answers.
our own economy. Well, I, I, think I think it's, it's evil to take a position on public education where they want to privatize it and gut it. I think those are evil policies, I think Ron. It's, I think it's evil, Ed, for individuals to say that we need to have a tax cut for uh, middle class Americans and the Republicans are holding it hostage. Interesting how that the Democrats didn't have a bill that was introduced in the Congress. The Republicans did. Robert Gibbs was asked about this last week and he said, oh, well, the Republicans are going to demagogue it, so we're not going to bring it up. Let's talk about the facts. Let's talk about the issues. The Speaker ran out like a coward this past week, didn't want to have a vote because she had 39 Democrats who would have voted to extend all the tax cuts. I think that's evil Ron, going into an election right. to hold up a vote on the and tax I cuts. Guess, Let's just I talk about I'm the I'm imagining the filibusters. Joe, you no, want to respond? No, to but this? again, let me just say last one. So no, you guys I'm going to give I'm Joe evil. a chance to talk. Hold on, Ron. Go ahead, Joe. Thank you. First of all, Ron wasn't at, as he said, either march. I don't think Ron's ever been to a major march, so uh, he I doesn't. I, 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 I didn't interrupt you. You haven't been. You weren't there, so you, and the two of us were. So you're not speaking from a position of knowing exactly what was going on. You're speaking from a position of reports. Number two, I'll tell you what's evil. To read in Bloomberg News that if take over the Congress. They're going to cut a hundred billion dollars from the budget, which means that they will cut money for education, Pell grants for low-income students, to cancer research. I am a cancer survivor, damn it. And I tell you, the reason I'm surviving is because the government helped with research, Ron. And three, they plan to cut funding for firemen and police officers. So if that building you're in right now went up in flames or somebody took it over, guess who would run in? And Joe police and, and, and class firemen. Warfare. The Democrats so, so took half a trillion me, dollars out of no excuse me, excuse, excuse me, you guys excuse me, half a I'm trillion not going to allow and you to fill a bus. trillion dollars that. out of Medicare. That Joe is evil. I didn't Oh, you're not only you're stealing it from the seniors. Way to go. Nice on. to take it from the seniors. Yeah.